Ask Reddit by Timmer first. What's a movie you'd actually want there to be a sequel to? District 9 They should make the first 8 prequels while they're at it. The Last Starfighter Have the guy who was the original kid owning a computer game company having a worldwide competition for best player. He is the new recruiter to help fight another invasion. Wired Russell, son of Kurt, really really agrees with you. People have talked about remaking it. Dungeons and Amp, Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. I'm bummed it didn't do very well financially. It was so much fun and could have been the start to a great new franchise. I didn't know it didn't do well. Bummer, I really enjoyed it and am hoping for more. Dread. Granted it's great on its own but damn did it having wanting more of the world and the action. Carl Urban is critically underutilized. This should be the top comment. Dread was almost a perfect film. The one mistake I feel it made is Dread absolutely would have shot those kids. But other than that it's a true Judge Dread adaptation and Carl Urban deserved 3 films and an HBO series of Dread. Spaceballs 2. The search for more money. The timing of it being released now would be fucking perfect. It would be a parody and a satire, probably single-handedly revive the genre, and actually make comedies funny again. After History of the World Part 2 I don't have faith. The Edge of Tomorrow. The Edge of the Day After Tomorrow. Constantine. It's in production. HTTPS colon slash slash m dot imdb dot com slash title slash tt 1071873 slash news slash The original Cloverfield from 2009 The rest of the Cloverfield movies are sort of kinda tangentially related But I'd like to see that original monster again I never saw the original but 10 Cloverfield Lane was outstanding even though it was only very tangentially related to the original. Nice guys. Dad there's like whores here and stuff. What have I told you about saying and stuff? Just say, Dad there are whores here. Happy Gilmore II, The Senior Tour. Honestly surprised Adam Sandler hasn't done this already. Tucker and Dale vs Evil. It would be hard to match the original, basically a perfect movie. Master and Commander. It was originally supposed to be a trilogy. I think there are a bunch of books. It didn't do well enough at the box office and filming on water is notoriously difficult and expensive. Shame, it's a great movie. Groundhog Day. Hype it up as a completely new movie with a different story, but then it turns out to be a shot for shot remake. Use all the same actors as much as possible. It's basically just a big joke on the audience, but then it turns into a cult classic where we all try to spot differences between the scenes. Screw that just advertise the hell out of it then just re-release the OG movie without telling anyone. Edit, damn Apple autocorrect. Titanic 1997 Bring the ship back to the surface and have one of those Pacific Rim robots use it as a sword and have another robot use the iceberg as a weapon. Don't worry I know you need romance in a Titanic movie. The robots can have a scene where one robot draws the other one naked. Titanic 2 is basically this, but worse. It already exists. Alita Battle Angel I really enjoyed this one and hoped it would happen. The Prestige 2. Two dudes too prestigious. Air Force 2, the sequel. Kill Bill we need a part 3. It's about Vanita Green's daughter, now mid-twenties, and her journey to hunt kiddo to avenge her mother. Maya Hawke could be kiddo's daughter. Gah, it has been 20 years. Yeah, a black mamba reconciliation is due. A third Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movie. That would be awesome if it was actually following No Way Home. 
he comes back after his redemption from saving MJ and his new knowledge of those like him. Maybe have Black Cat in it as a ref ML and the main bad guy be Tombstone or Craven. Then follow Craven up with a fourth movie being Chameleon that messes with him by using Gwen. A sequel to Coraline would be pretty cool. Or we could just lean into the horror aspect. Coraline basically was a horror movie, and do three separate prequels on the three children who were ultimately enticed into sewing buttons into their eyes, and killed by the Beldum. I always wondered if the Beldum chose different forms based on what would best lure the kids. Like other mother is what Coraline wishes her own mom was like, but I wonder the Beldum tried to be a perfect version of YB's grandma's twin sister, other sister. And why the oldest girl with the white brimmed hat had her face frozen in horror, even as a ghost. Oh, and if the ghosts can help Coraline, did they try to help each other, like after the first one died? Maybe that's why western girl died in total shock, she had no idea what was coming cause she was the first victim. And then there's the cat, who can be like an narrator tying them all together. If Jet Li was still in good health. I'd be interested in seeing a sequel to the one. Could call it the two with the laws working together to defeat someone who actually achieved the one, but always the threat of why you law possibly double crossing Gabe to also become the one. Then a surprise twist of why you law dying and Gabe becoming the one to defeat the other the one. I'd watch it. Or write it. With better deep fake technology. They'd be able to make it look like Jet Li was actually fighting himself this time. The Room with Tommy Wiseau. Hell yeah. Bring that shit back. You might wanna watch the stuff Neil Breen does. Serenity. Bigger Trouble in Little China. Hell yeah. Cast Wired Russell as Jack's son W. Gracie. Lopan is still cursed because he never actually sacrificed anyone to appease the gods. He's been waiting 40 years to find another sacrifice. Maybe have a twist that the emperor who cursed him was really a bad person and they need to join together to defeat the emperor who is also immortal. By the way, James Hong looks great for 95. Jumper The old guard. Thought it was a pretty cool concept mo. In post-production, just waiting for a release date https colon slash slash m dot imdb dot com slash title slash tt1496 slash 